the best patties in Toronto. Randy's is a staple in Toronto. If you don't know about Randy's patties, you're not from Toronto. This is my first time coming here. This is like the number one spot in Toronto. Everyone talks about it, and there's always a line coming out of the building. Wagwan, everybody. Welcome to our next episode of Talk the Things podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about party time versus Randy Paddy. Now, the reason why I want to talk about those two is because everybody loves party here in Toronto. They're literally sold everywhere. You can find them in grocery store, convenience store, um, train station, coffee time used to sell them. I don't know if they still do, but here in Toronto, people love them. So you can find it everywhere. Um, frozen ones that they sell in the grocery store. They don't taste like the real thing. You know, they taste absolutely shit. So when it's talking about, when you're talking about real authentic Jamaican party, the only place that I can think of in Toronto, the main two big dogs is Paddy Time and Randy Paddy. Now you can, when you go to those two places, you can get them ready made. You can get them frozen in the box. You can get them ready in the box. You can get them unbaked. And if you get unbaked to me, that's the best one because you basically cook it in your house and it tastes so fresh, so nice. And if, yo, I'm telling you, bro, nothing don't beat those two stories. If that's what you really, um want to bring it down to there's a whole bunch of places in toronto where you can get authentic party but you know to me not all of them taste good it tastes better than the places like paddy king and tasty and those are um factories here in toronto that manufacture them own party but those are convenience store party them party don't taste good so if you want real deal to me those are the only two is randy party and party time but we're going to get into this why i think that later on i want to go over the brief history of randy party because i'm sure you guys have heard about it on six balls or wherever because they've been talking about it even on cp24 and stuff because they closed down the other day and they wind up opening up back but there was such a big um like what would you say what's the word i'm looking for i don't know how to describe it their name was just all over the place for a little bit you couldn't stop hearing about randy paddy but i want to go over their histories so randy paddy opened in 1979 in little jamaica that's where they were located and i guess you can say they were the best party in the west they were very popular and they got even more popular in 2022 in february 2022 they announced that they were going to close because that the um the lrt you know the streetcar shit that's been building for like 27 years it's gonna i don't remember a lot of businesses were closing that whole area they're saying is going to be different now after that's done bill and they saying that during the pandemic they never had enough labor and stuff to keep open so they announced a closing date and hundreds of people wanted up going out there news went out there all type of stuff people are lined up wrap around the street because they say once again like i was saying they're very popular out there in the west end you know like that's the party that's they say the best in all of toronto that's what a lot of them out there say um so when they heard that they were closing and drake was even saying that's his favorite place a lot of people sparked interest i wanted to go over there and go look and taste and see what it's all you know what all the friends is about before they close so they wanted up closing and that was that and i want to stop right there and start talking about paddy time because paddy time now opened in 19 you know i can't be sure my mom said as long as she's been alive it's been open when i'm searching it up i can't find no open day but they were probably open like in the 80s or the 90s and they opened up in scarborough it's right past mccown and lawrence there it's actually right beside conrad i used to get my hair cut at conrad so i know lots about paddy time i grew up on paddy time paddy time yo there's nowhere better than paddy time if you ask me in the world literally in the world um they're run by chinese jamaican people though and that's what that's remember that i said that chinese jamaican because it gets very interesting we're going to talk about some things later on and to me they're the best in scarborough not the scarborough but the best like i was saying the world but toronto bro randy to me can't talk to party time and if you know you know there's not much online presence with party time though and not much people know like how they know randy but i feel like if they were supposed to get the same type of you know it, it but you don't even need it you don't even need it because if you see how 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 busy party time is it's always so busy the people in the right across the street is scarborough general hospital you know and any everybody in that hospital run over to party time when it's ready the people in conrad run over there when they're ready the people up in the other plaza down more at the actual intersection run up there bro i'm telling you everybody folks with party time me i used to take bus drive everybody goes all around to come to party time because party time is it bro in the east especially I don't know, one open up in Ajax and they're nice, but party time, nothing can't beat party time, bro.
But remember how I was saying they're Chinese Jamaican? Randy is also owned by Chinese Jamaican. And when, cause when people were telling me, when you know, we're in the business. And you guys know I have my restaurant already. Tree Bills Food, go follow that. But you know so I have my business. And we do talk. Everybody talks. And everybody will say, I would realize that... Like, when I'm talking to the, the head boss, because I used to always have to get my stuff imported and stuff, and I will see all these Chinese people, like the people that do certain grocery store and stuff. It's Chinese people that run them. Even Tasty in Jamaica, I don't know about Juicy, but I know for sure Tasty is owned by Chinese people. It was founded by Chinese people. And they say that they might even be cousin, that Randy is cousin with Paddy Time, is cousin with Tasty, because they say that the Chinese Jamaicans share the industry and they lock it in. Now, when Randy's reopened up the other day, opened up like two weeks ago, people are sleeping outside in tent. I heard it was opened up by um people, enthusiasts, I think they call them, like customers who loved it so much, they reopened it. But I don't think it's the same Chinese people who run it from before. But the Chinese Jamaicans, they are the one that do the parties i realize a lot of the big 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 um like establishment and party that are going viral and all those stuff even in jamaica like i said tasty is run by chinese people and they like to share the market with, with their own so they could have all been cousins and people will be trying to make them you know like put it against each other like randy verse tasty kind of like what i'm doing and not even know that they might be cousin no take it 110 percent that i said that but that's just what somebody gossiped and told me and I, I could i could believe it because i mean not just because they're chinese but why why wouldn't why wouldn't they be cousin and the party is actually so similar but there's something just so different with party time comparing to randy where i would always say party time is a thousand times better than randy and if you have any time please i'm begging you go to party time i'm begging you go over there be careful you know because the party time are extremely fucking hot but i want to play you guys some videos from both sides and i'll be right back people are excited to see that randy's is back in the neighborhood how do you feel about that randy's is a staple in toronto if you don't know about randy's patties you're not from toronto so for it to come back you know the pandemic hurt a lot of businesses it wasn't too good but they're back and they're gonna be better now i know that for sure i mean that's a good thing you know they got big attention when they were closing down so it's good that they're back we need that in the, in the community well now that i'm vegan i hope they have a vegetarian option or a vegan option randy's is staple in the community Granny's a cornerstone in um, on Eglinton. It's been here from 1979, and we're very glad that it's open again. Very, very happy for that. I heard they're actually making a great comeback and then reopen and launch soon, so I'm very really excited for that. And they always had like the best patties, I remember. This is my first time coming here. This is like the number one spot in Toronto. Everyone talks about it, and there's almost a line coming out of the building. They're handmade. One thing I will warn you is that they're extremely hot, so watch yourself. So hot. The feeling is real. It tastes fantastic. It's actual beef in there. It's not dry. It's hot. Mmm, sweet. It's none other like any other beef patty I've had in the city. Unmatched. A 9.5 out of 10. I haven't had a chicken patty in a long time, so let's give it a try. Hey. The shell is incredibly like flaky and light. It's real chicken, and you can taste the difference. It tastes fantastic. A 9 out of 10 chicken patty. I've never had anything taste quite that good. People always say, what's the best patty in the city? I'm giving it to this spot. Hands down. The best patty. Right, so you guys just heard that. Now, you let me know your thoughts. Are you on Team Party Time or are you on Team Randy? And let me know. And what do you think about that whole thing with them being cousins? If you believe that that's true, you guys let me know. But I'm Team Party Time all day, every day. Oh, boy, I need to go buy some right now. You don't know. We'll talk later. Pretty little